Ciao, sono Sara Z dalla La Land. Incontrerò grandi ospiti provenienti da ogni parte del mondo. Quattro chiacchiere di condivisione culturale e linguistica per scoprire le loro vite e storie. Enjoy! How are you, Jack, today in New York? I'm good, molto bene. And you? Very well. Thanks to Nicoletta for, uh, for being the bridge, per essere stata yeah. pon il ponte tra di noi. So you were in Italy, and you met Nicoletta. You were in Italy with Lo, in Italy with Lo Balletro Cadero? Mm -hmm. Yes. Sì. So, yeah. so how, about, how about your experience? You are a dancer, a great dancer. You worked also with, um, with Cunningham, right? With the company Merce Cunningham, right? Yeah, so that you... was one of my first jobs that I had out of school. But I was only with them for a summer when they were begin after Merce Cunningham passed away and it was with the trust and then I left. Yeah, I right, joined. sorry. Yeah. I know. I just said that you worked with him. I didn't like he he died. <laughs> Merce yeah, Cunningham died, up. but you yeah, but you worked with the company. I apologize. Mm -hmm. um, Jack for yeah. me, ha lavorato con la compagnia di Merce Cunningham. I'm sorry yeah. guys about my English Italian. I'll have to switch the <laughs> cambiare mi confondo. E, e poi qual è stata qual è stata qual è stato l'inizio della tua carriera come ballerino e perché so how was um, the starting for your career as a dancer and why did you decide to join Le Ballet Trocadero which is a very particular company but we're going to talk about later so yeah well for me I actually when I joined I actually was coming off of a spinal injury So I actually broke my spine maybe the year and a half before and I stopped dancing and I was working for a nonprofit here in New York City and I was just starting to get back into class when one of my friends from school who was in the company still, Philip Martin, he told me there was an opening and I kind of just took a shot in the dark and decided to audition and have been with the company ever since. So, it was kind of on, wow. it was on whim, to be honest, yeah. Yeah, so uh, if I understood, you uh, injured your, your spine. So tu mm -hmm. hai, uh, hai fatto un incidente, ti sei rotto la spina dorsale. How did it happen? What kind of accident? Oh, did it was in rehearsal. I had a, a girl in a lift like, above my head and it was a day like today in New York where it's really hot and we slipped and I caught her and I, <gasps> I okay my so lower he had spine. okay I'm gonna yeah. translate briefly because <laughs> this is this is important so Jack ha avuto un incidente durante delle prove di un, di un balletto aveva una ragazza sopra di lui e lei, la ragazza è scivolata e sono cadute e si è rotto la, la spina dorsale quindi è stato fermo and you have been like you stopped dancing for for how long tu hai smesso di danzare per quanto tempo I, I definitely saw it for like basically saw it for a whole year when I got an diagnosed anno. with my oh. injury. Um, but yeah, and then even when I auditioned, it was my it was my first time like finishing class was my audition. And later on, uh, I was I did an interview uh, for a paper in Ireland, and my director was reading it, and you and I go in the interview it says how. I thought I fooled them to not knowing that I was really injured still. And he goes, no, we knew you were injured. We just oh, like so, knew you would... so they didn't know exactly they, that I you... thought they didn't know, but they okay. didn't know that I like hadn't been dancing and that I was coming from an injury and that I was like really still not fully there yet. So, but they still let me join, which was very nice of them. Okay, I'm sorry, uh, Jack, they're telling me that my image is breaking up. Excuse me. So I'm going to change the location. Oh, yeah. no problem, I'm sorry yeah. about that. Yeah, they're telling me that la mia immagine andava e veniva. Forse ora è meglio. Maybe now mm -hmm. it's better. I change location. See, So, uh, uh, Nico dice that you are in, in shape as usual. You're very, <laughs> very energetic. Yeah, as, you, as usual. Uh, Nico, appena scritto, she just wrote that. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, Jack has, ha detto che... Um, lui poi uh, è entrato nella compagnia Le Balletro Cadero grazie a un suo collega. So one of, of your colleague or a friend. He was yeah, a friend yeah. of yours. So, e, gli ha, e gli ha detto perché non fai l'audizione? Why don't you audition for Le Balletro Cadero? And he did it on a whim. On a, you said, that, that's a good expression also. Yeah, We yeah. use those live to, uh, as a, also uh, to cross over English and Italian. That's so nice. on a whim, 
it's like you did it like a like sense of pensarci right without yeah, was, thinking about it it was actually one of my bosses at the nonprofit where i was like oh i don't really think i'm gonna do it and she was like just go do it and so i did and then six days later i was flying to amsterdam with the company so wow was, so six very... journey dopo yeah. l'audizione six days after the audition you were already dancing yeah. with them it was a Say lot journey. yeah Wow. So yeah, I only had one week with the company before we went on tour for, we went two weeks in Netherlands and then another two weeks in Italy. Wow. So what, what were you, all the cities that you traveled to? Like, quali sono stati i paesi che, like the first, the first countries you went to? The, the, paesi first, che so the first tour was, we did 11 cities in the Netherlands and then we did just two straight weeks in Milano. Oh, I fa due settimane a Milano. Oh. Il teatro yeah. nuovo, ok. Yeah. I haven't had a chance to, to see it live, but I saw you oh, dancing. Yeah. yeah, I saw you like dancing on YouTube. I did a lot of mm -hmm. uh, live research and I saw how beautiful and it, it's crazy. So I don't know if, uh, non so se tutti conoscono la compagnia Le Ballet Trocadera. I don't know if anyone, anyone knows them, but the characteristic of this company is that it uh, are all male dancers sono tutti ballerini uh, uomini che danzano ruoli di donne. So they all dance women roles. And the fascinating thing and unbelievable for me is they dance on point shoes. Loro ballano sulle punte. Mm -hmm. How, Jack, how, how was that? Because I, I am, I was, I don't know if I should use the past sense if I was a dancer or I'm still a dancer. Well, we're let's say we, we're still dancers in, in the vein, no? nelle nostre vene, noi siamo, saremo sempre ballerini. <laughs> Ma I remember when I was dancing on dance shoes, it was very difficult, it hurts, and uh, especially during the period. How was the experience for you? And why did you decide to get in such a company knowing that you had to prepare yourself so much like well, everyone in the company like the great thing about the company is everyone is from different schools and backgrounds and I, I know a lot of the dancers now especially the newer generation it's the company they want to be in so they come in already of training on point you know in school and stuff so my teacher oh. Alan, uh, when I was in school you know the girls would do point and I just did it with them So until I was injured, I still took point class and, you know. Oh, okay. So you già facevi erezioni sulle punte, già praticavi sulle punte. Yeah. But of oh, course, okay. when I got injured, so basically I was restarting over when I joined the company. But yeah, I mean, everyone has a different path and the point shoes just, you know, I think people, we get used to it. And I think the dancers that are in the company, they want to be on point, so... Really? No. Oh, so, no, yeah. you mean like, but not for Le Ballet Trocadero, you mean like in general, like male dancers well, would I, like... I think uh, in recent times, especially, you see boys all around the world what, doing more point stuff for fun. Or, or heels, or right? Anche sulle, sui tacchi. There are a lot of workshops, especially in LA, mm -hmm. with guys uh, giving like workshop on like heels workshop. So mm -hmm. they... they Uh, they dance on heels and it's fascinating. Like they are amazing. Sono, sono incredibili. Più, più delle donne, vorrei dire. Mm. <laughs> More, better than women, I'd say, on, on heels and point shoes. Yeah, I mean, the, some of the dancers in the company are just, you, you know, you think they've been doing points since they were children. They're amazing. So. Oh, wow. So they, yeah. eh, già i ballerini uh, maschi hanno fatto tantissimo training sulle punte già da piccoli. Però tu, Jack, You worked with the, um, with the dancer coach Valentina Kozlova, is right the pronunciation? Yeah. And she, yeah. lei è stata una ballerina principale del Bolshoi, vero? Mm -hmm. So you, you worked with her, hai lavorato con lei, so it was a very rigid, I'm sure, una, una preparazione, un allenamento molto rigido con lei, perché... Yes and, yes and no. Like, it was very, like, strict and very intense Russian Vaganova training. But, like, the one thing I did always kind of enjoy is we were never yelled at, which is kind of her and the other teachers. We weren't screamed at. You know, they very much 
screen that so excuse uh, you never screen yeah. what sorry we weren't yelled at or anything you know it was very it was strange, oh but... like you know okay they were yeah, she wasn't yelling at you like not not yeah. lava dietro come come di solito la tipica il tipico allenamento di un di un ballerino con un insegnante russa mm -hmm. o in generale con un insegnante rigida sì sì and then i felt like with them especially it was a lot about which i think is really good preparation was that they kind of treated everyone like adults or professionals. So a lot of it had to come just from you. So it helps prepare you when you do become a professional. Like it only comes from you. Like, you know what I mean? No one's going to hold your hand. So I think that was one of the greatest things was like, you have to be able to do it yourself. And, you know, and there was no screaming, but it was very intense training. Oh, so you're saying like during the preparation, she was helping you, but then at the no, end... No, 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 of we, course, but we weren't uh, babied in a way, you know? There yeah, was, ho yeah. capito, sì, praticamente Jack dice, and by the way, I just changed another position in the Yeah, I'm, trying, I'm holding my phone. I'm trying to get yeah. the best light possible <laughs> because uh, today was a weird morning. È stata una giornata, mm. un po par una mattina un po' particolare. Comunque, Jack dice che la sua preparazione è stata rigida, ma nello stesso tempo l'insegnante... Non, non li prendeva per mano in una, in una maniera dolce. Like, she was not really babying you. Like, say, hey, you should do this. You should, yeah. like, in a... So you had it, to work was, on your own. Tu hai dovuto lavorare molto da solo. matter of fact, very... I always kind of thought it as, like, the Nike slogan, just do it. Like, this is what it is. Just, just do it. Do that. Wow. You know, Questo so è quello che devi pragmatic. fare. Just do it. Fallo. Più pragmatica, yeah. più pratica. Oh, mamma yeah. mia, I, yeah, and so now that you're, you're saying those things, I'm remembering my dance teacher in Italy. Yeah. <laughs> but non parliamo, non parliamo yeah. di questo. Um, e anche, uh, so how about the, so the, the process in terms, what kind of, what kind of, uh, um, not show, sorry, variation, le variazioni, what kind of, of um, I can't think of the word, che tipo di variazioni, yeah, di variazioni mm -hmm. di danza. Yeah. So I think Don, Don Quixote, right, Don Quixote, and Swan Lake were the best one you were playing with, or, and also uh, what kind no, of characters? For, oh, I mean, I, for the last three or four years now, I've been performing like the joke swan in our Swan Lake which is the more comedic one, which has been a great treasure to be able to perform all the time. Um, it's the one that makes all the, a lot of the funny stuff that happens. But I mean, one of my favorite pieces that I've got, that I pr premiered actually in uh, so, uh, so, Solomeo, in Umbria. Excuse me, oh, in Umbria. Uh, in ah. Umbria last year was uh, the Pas de Cat. I got to play Gran, which has been a role I've always wanted to do. Oh, il Pas de Cat in Umbria, mm -hmm. in Italia. Mm -hmm. Tu hai fatto in Swan Lake, vero? Yeah, Nel so Lago I think those have been Cini. some of my favorite roles, definitely. To wow, il Pas de Cat di Swan Lake. E invece Jack ha detto che prima, you said before, you enjoyed um, always Swan, uh, doing Swan Lake, fare il Lago dei Cini, it però it was more like the, the oh, okay. So we now <laughs> it's in your blood and it was one yeah. day. But you were doing like more like a comic role as well. Like yeah. Where no role of comic. The comic. Yeah, I do a lot of the comic stuff. What do you enjoy most, thing. Jack? What do you enjoy most? And also, if you enjoy most playing yourself, cioè, oh, ti I... piace di più interpretare te stesso o a woman role uh, or like the, com the comedy, the comedian? I... I think for any of us that are in our acting um, with any dancer, not even just in Trocadero, you do have a sense of yourself being on stage. Even though you're interpreting, in, is that a word? Interpreting like a role, you kind of bring something within you from it. So I think that's kind of, especially with a lot of the stuff that I now get to do, which is a lot of the comedy, more comedy stuff in the company, I like to bring my own sense of myself in it. Certo. Nice. Yeah, yeah, certo, so che ti piace comunque um, portare sulla scena anche Jack for long, like you like to bring mm. your, who you are, yeah. ti piace ovviamente tirar fuori il personaggio, ma anche te stesso, come, come tanti mm. attori fanno, because you're an actor, and then you know you're acting. And how about um, any, oh, first of all, also, um, I, I worked with Sir Solenda, we worked with so many um, 
people coming from different countries. Yeah. And sometimes, sometimes it was a little bit difficult because, you know, I'm Italian and I have a certain way of behaving. The Japanese is more conservative, like, and then the French person is different. How about you, uh, like, tu insieme a tutti gli altri del mm. cast provenendo da, diverse, da diversi paesi well, come andava? Us, how did it go? well we when I joined for instance there were I think four Italian dancers that was like half, you know a quarter of the oh. company was Italian when I joined wow. now there's only the ballet masters Italian at the moment but so we had people from Europe we had people from Asia from Africa from America from Australia so, you know, you have a different, you have many languages, different personalities. I mean, that's what that How is. was I mean, it? Yeah. And how was for you, like, I mean, it's, it's, any, it's any fun, story, you know? any story that you felt like it was like a cha challenging for you? Okay, una, una you know, I, just, for... I just think especially like in the ballet world, you kind of always know that it's going to be kind of a mix of people. So for me... Uh, you know, when I was in school, all my teachers were from Russia. There were people from other countries in my class, you know, so I already had that kind of sense. And I've been living in New York, which is a mix of people. Yeah, so yeah, vero. It's been just, yeah, I mean, and now, obviously, the company has changed since I've been there, but there's still people from, you know, I think we have like nine languages that are... Wow, nove, nove lingue, yeah. lingue diverse yeah. che la gente parla. Sì, so Jack yeah. ha lavorato, lui dice ha lavorato con tantissimi artisti provenienti da tantissimi paesi, quindi lingue diverse, ma non è mai stato un problema anche perché Jack vive a New York, uh, mm -hmm. Jack lives in New York, so New York è già una città piena, un concentrato di, di, di culture, lingue diverse, come, come in effetti anche Los Angeles, like those cities are like, um, there are people speaking like any, <laughs> any, exactly. any language, so... Uh, and then if, if you're an artist, I'm sure, like, you already know how to adapt yourself, right? Tu sai già poi come adattarti con la compagnia. Yeah, for me, it wasn't really the different cultures. It was that in Trocadero, like, any small place that are artists, we have our own kind of language and culture and words. So for me, that was probably just getting to understand how the company works and how the dancers work. And I think that for any dancer that joins the company, it's like learning how that culture within our company is. And so I think that was more of a, maybe not a challenge, but a learning curve was just like, how did these group of people work together? Oh, you know? okay, see, come mm -hmm. And of course, of influenced course. by, you know, I think the 11 different countries we have represented right now. And I think there's 11 at the moment that are where people are from. But, oh, you know, it, it really, 11 persone. Okay. Yeah, at the moment, che, there's, I think, 11 of different countries where people che are from. Da 11 paesi diversi, sì. So I think, but it's really about more, more understanding how the culture with the traveling and the rehearsals and, like, understanding that more. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. sì. E Jack dice che non, non era tanto, uh, non è tanto capire la cultura di ogni persona, o non era tanto quella la difficoltà, ma più che altro capire il background di ogni ballerino e cercare di um, and try, you know, to merge with every uh, dancer's background e cercare di assimilarsi e mischiarsi nel background di tutti i ballerini e questo può essere una sfida because the techniques, the techniques are different and yeah. any, any, uh, any story that, that stick in your mind that were like very uh, I don't know, pivotal for you, like, it could be like a, a funny story, una storia divertente, or something that really made you emotional, so that like in, uh, una storia well, che ti ha emozionato, che vuoi, che vuoi raccontare, you want to share with us, vuoi condividere well, I mean, con I, For any of us, when, I think when people get to perform for their families or in their home countries, very emotional, when we got to go to Ireland the first time for the companies in nearly 50 year history, that was amazing, I had all my friends and family and that was like really nice to perform in front of them but you know as you know funny stuff with us you know things happen as you know in live shows all the time that like things go wrong or things get you know sometimes music has it, stopped or oh yeah 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 that, I was gonna fun. ask you in fact if they might suggest something on stage like music stopped they had to they did, did they have to close the curtain so, yeah, a volte. Actually, 
my first tour at the Teatro Nuovo in Milano, um, we were doing Paquita, uh -huh. and something just happened in the middle of the music in Paquita, and it just froze, and we all just paused, and they just, like, closed the curtain, and that's happened, it doesn't happen a lot, but it's happened before, and, you know, they just find a way to, like, pick it up somewhere else, but sometimes for the dancers, we kind of enjoy it, because then we don't have to finish the piece. <laughs> tired. Oh, okay. Uh, Bye. So, wait, wait, wait. So, you, you were dancing, like, the music stopped, right? Yeah. So, lui, Jack, stava danzando al Teatro Nuovo di Milano. Mm -hmm. La musica si è fermata. E, so, what did, uh, I'm sorry if I lost maybe a piece. Did they close the curtain or they just... Well, uh, you or... just, like, the curtain starts going in and you just hear our stage manager, Isabel, <laughs> just be like, we're going to track four, we're going to the code out, pick, and we have to, like, just move along to, like, the next part. Ok, so ovviamente mm -hmm, hanno dovuto fermarsi e Jack ha detto, and I laughed for that, ho riso per quello, perché lui diceva, questa è una, cosa, è una cosa positiva perché significa che loro non devono finire quel pezzo, magari particolarmente difficile, and they jump and they skip it and they, yeah. they skip on the, and they jump on the next mm. piece e saltano al pezzo successivo. Oh my, oh my, yeah. did you, yeah. Well, at once in Lisboa, we were doing a long run and we had two, like a double show day, so two shows in one day, and something happened where the piece in the second, the music wasn't working. And so they were like, oh, we're going to have to cancel the second <laughs> act and move to the third act. And you oh. could just hear all of us screaming with excitement because we were like, good, we just want to do it anyway. <laughs> So, yeah, you know, so, so altro, I yeah, it's, probably shouldn't be saying that, but we sometimes get excited when we don't wow, do it. <laughs> it's okay. No, no, it's okay. Hey, it's a company, like, it's also on comedy, so that's mm. fine that you're well, you also that. understand, like, you did this, you do the same show, the same well, pieces a lot, in and fact, sometimes you just see. don't want to do it that day. I, <laughs> uh, Jack, ti capisco benissimo. I understand you perfectly. Good. Yeah. Jack said he was in Lisboa, Lisbona. E lui durante uno spettacolo, stesso problema, la musica non ha funzionato. And they started screaming on stage, hanno iniziato a urlare, felici, dire yes, sì, non dobbiamo, non dobbiamo finire l'atto, but we can, you know, do the third act and we can just uh, give up on this act because the music yeah. isn't working. So they were all screaming, loro urlavano sul palco e... Perché ovviamente a volte, Jack said, like, you're tired and you don't want to do that particular piece, sei stanco e non vuoi, non vuoi interpretare o fare quel pezzo in particolare. Quindi, you know, sometimes it's a good thing. And I know, because it happened to us the same. Actually, they closed the curtain. We were working with illusions in, in the okay, show. Yeah. So they would close the curtain, and, but then we would have to start from the same spot winter we, it was interrupted oh, really? yeah they so that, they always kind of oh they skip no because yeah, yeah well we Which were with chris angel i don't know if you know chris angel but mm -hmm. uh, yeah. i'm just saying that like to give you like my ex experience and uh, so i i feel you cioè, capisco cosa intendi e le, e le, le quando la, ho lavorato nel cirque il sipario si, si era chiuso quando ci sono stati dei problemi tecnici e poi si riapriva di nuovo e noi ricominciavamo dalla stessa parte. We would restart from the same part. And yeah, it's crazy. You have the stage manager. Okay, guys, pronti, uh, ready. We're going to start from uh, where we stopped. Are you ready? Siete pronti? No. Okay, okay. So <laughs> you fix your... Uh, yeah. oh, oh, by the way, I was going to say you fix your hair and makeup. How about... Um, Come è stato il, um, il trucco, like the makeup? Did you come up with your makeup? Did they teach so, yeah. you... So, yeah, uh, some dancers have come in or they've done drag before. I'm not one of them. I don't <laughs> do drag outside work. Some dancers do, which is, you know, as far as... Oh, my God. Artistic. Oh, sorry. Scusa. Oh, my God. <laughs> sorry. Let me... Let, one moment. Let me close, close the window. I saw a, un... Uh, una bestia gigante, a, a big bug, I'm sorry, Jack. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, I thought I got scared. It was like that, and it, I, against the, the window, it hit the window. Scusa. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> scusa, scusa. I mean, it was an, an, a spontaneous reaction. I, I didn't mean to. Sorry. Oh, I <laughs> so, think like a car accident or something. 
<laughs> no, 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 neanche un incidente di macchina, proprio una bestia. I'm sorry, but this morning I'm like, I'm like this. Sono così. I apologize. Scusa, scusa. Um, so, back to the makeup. Yeah, uh, back to the makeup. So, yeah, everyone's different. I definitely, personally, took my good time learning how to do the makeup decent enough. Now I feel better about it. But everyone's different. Some dancers, we, we, the company tries to give us from rehearsals like an hour and a half before the show starts. And a lot of the dancers go like, and they spend that whole time getting their face ready while a lot of the older dancers that have been there for a while, including myself, we go have a coffee, we go to the bathroom, we relax, you know, because now like I don't need that much time. Oh. You know, there's a lot of lights on the stage. They But really there's don't. a show, a photo of you, the one I posted for um, like the promo mm -hmm. for our live. That was a very... I like, was so sick in that photo shoot. No I had, way. Like, 41 degree fever. Uh, no. Was, yeah, so sick. That, like, that whole, I'm like dying the whole time. Um, but yeah, so I mean, but like, you know, with the lights and stuff on stage, for instance, you know, it's, you see red lips and black eyes in our wig. So like, I try not to spend too, too much, much, unless, especially if the audience is far away. Some, Some theaters, they're much closer, you know. So yeah, see, babe, oh, yeah, of course. Certo. And so that also has to do with, like, how we are in stage, as you know. Like, if it's really close, you try not to be so expressionate sometimes if they're really close because you don't want to scare them. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I have to translate all of this. Sorry, go ahead. So, no, 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 sorry, like, because this is, it's, it's, a, it's great what you're saying. Mm -hmm. So, um, ho chiesto Jack per il trucco se ha imparato da solo, se gli hanno insegnato. Lui ha detto that, so you, 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 you tried on your own, the, the makeup on your We're own. All, yeah, you you, you all learn, did it. Okay. It sì, so, i, hanno imparato il trucco da soli, non hanno avuto un, un insegnante. E lui dice che molti ballerini spendono ore e ore, cioè arrivano a teatro, iniziano a truccarsi. Eh, di solito arrivi a teatro un'ora e mezza prima, anzi due ore prima, proprio perché spendi tanto tempo per il trucco. Ma Jack dice, you know, I enjoy my coffee, io bevo il mio caffè, faccio una chiacchierata and I'm not gonna spend so much time with the makeup, non... non, non spendo troppo tempo con il trucco anche perché molte persone ovviamente sono vicine a lot of people are close to the stage molte persone yeah. sono vicine al palco and he said I don't want to scare them I don't want non voglio yeah. non voglio far paura loro con, con, con tutto il mio trucco elaborato quindi it's like it's almost like on being on camera right for you like like when you have a close up hai un primo piano and you don't want to be big like but you want to be more contained maybe if you yeah, have someone vero our so, director calls it mugging like you don't want to like mug it i don't right know in mug. their face because the mug oh. is your face yeah so you don't want to like mug them too much especially if they're close you know oh audience, okay you know, oh right you don't want to yeah no boy arrivare troppo much. vicino al, al pubblico yeah. and and of yeah. course Yeah, but be more yeah, elegant, un po' più elegante. Yeah, especially Anche... if they're really close. Oh, But certo. The theater for, in New York, the Joyce, they're really close. Like, you can see, like, they're in... bright, they're super close. Wow. Yeah, you feel like you're on top of them. Some... And there's been some places where you feel you're so close that they can see. I mean, you're almost no. in their mouth. <laughs> Sei quasi nella loro bocca. <laughs> Quindi, you don't want to be, yeah, be... To that scare them, and I, anche perché il trucco is so heavy already, the makeup it's already heavy for the character. That, yeah. And I saw one of always so, oh, and another thing that Jack said the photo you all of you saw in the promo, Jack oh, yeah. said that he was Very sick, sick, che lui era malato, e quel giorno non stava bene. E the makeup, il trucco era oh. bellissimo per me. I, no, I love it, and you look, and you look great. I would date Jack. you as a, I would date you as a woman too. Non lo so. E stai molto bene con, con il trucco. E, oh, do you want to say something in Italian, Jack, by the way? No, I'm glad. <laughs> Perché? Non vuoi dirci oh qualcosa? In, no, I'm niente. Good. I've been out of practice. Out of practice. Va, so. anche una parola. Um, who, uh, so... Perché, well, first of all, it should be maybe one, the first question, poteva essere una prima domanda dell'intervista, ma perché 
perché hai deciso di diventare un ballerino? Why did you decide to be a dancer? Like, oh, I mean, yeah, I think that's a, it's a very hard question now and then you look back. Um, I always loved dancing. My sister and I were Irish dancers growing up. Um, and then I wasn't dancing and I was doing a, a sport very intensely. And, you know, there's just that moment in your life where like, I'm just, as you know, like, I'm just going to do it, you know, despite what, you know, when I could have Yes, but I was it your passion? Door. Like, did you, did you ever say, Jack, I, I you know, I want to be a dancer in my life. I want to be, or, or just like. Yeah, it was one, of, it was a very like quick decision because I was a bit older and my pa I was, you know, gave up university for it and like. Oh, of, wow. See, si, I lasciato l'università anche. Okay. Um, and my parents were, they were supportive, but they were also, you know, but the kind of support that they gave me, which was good, was that I had to do it, you know? They weren't too supportive where I was lackadaisical, which was better because then it gave me more personal independence and strength to just do it, which, you know, I feel like if they were over supportive, I probably would have been more laxed about it. So, but yeah, I mean, you also, as you know, to be a dancer, you have to just, you have to go for it. And if it doesn't no, work no, out. No, exactly. Because you, I mean, your decision, like my decision, a lot of dancers that will, will see our live, our interview, like it's, it, it's a difficult path. Like you can't just say, oh, yeah. I'm going to be a, especially ballet, perché tu sei un ballerino classico. You come from, yes. from yeah. ballet. And that's the, that's the basis, la base di ogni ballerino, but it's the, very it's very very hard work è un lavoro molto duro perché it has to be precise precisione mm -hmm. perfetto and did you have any hero that you you were inspired inspired to any ballet dancer you that you really was your uh, muse tipo è stata una tua musa ispiratrice una ballerina o ballerino well i, I... Personally, I really always really loved the way my coach, Valentina Kozlova, danced. She was very dramatic and, you know, very intense and, you know, a very great actress, but also a very great technician as well. But also for me, it's always the people around that I'm with, wh whether I was in school or in the company. You know, I feel like that's who I get. I could watch videos all day, but, you know, just seeing my colleagues and I feel like we learn from each other and. You know, I, that's where I find my most, you know, strength from. Or, yeah, you know. so, mm -hmm. so Jack dice che sicuramente a Valentina Kuzlova, la, la, mm. la ballerina del Bolshoi, che gli ha fatto training, è stata ovviamente una sua musa ispiratrice, ma anche tutti i colleghi con i quali Jack ha lavorato e lo hanno aiutato tanto nella sua carriera. You, um, I love, um, you said, Oh, I, I love what, what you said. I, I, I read your bio and, and you said, I find my heart in watching and loving other dance, whether with me or for me on stage. So, lo traduco un attimo in italiano. Jack ha detto, io trovo il mio cuore, ritrovo il mio cuore a guardare e amare gli altri a danzare, che siano io o che siano gli altri a ballare per me mm -hmm. sul palco, o che sia io a ballare sul palco. For me, this is beautiful. È bellissimo. Because sometimes... I wrote I... that? Yeah, you said oh. that. <laughs> you do it. You do oh, it. I oh, I <laughs> This is... Yeah, this is... Let me go. <laughs> Questo mi ha, mi ha colpito tanto because it shows, for, uh, first of all, like, uh, how you know, uh, hum uh, humble you are in your, in your artistic endeavor that it's hard to be humble. And, and I, when, I, when I say hard to be humble, it's because there's a lot of competition. C'è tanta competizione. È molto dura essere umili nell'intrattenimento e nello spettacolo in generale. And first of all, if you're a dancer, you want to do what we are doing. It's because, you know, we have an ego. You know, we want to be seen. Vogliamo essere visti, guardati. But yeah. uh, the fact that you are inspired and you're not, you know, you don't feel some, you know, sometimes the, uh, the invidia, being envious and say, I want to, I want to do that. I want to do that part. I should be me doing that. Yeah. You know, like, what do you, can you expand what you said? Well, what... I, I mean, first, I really think it comes because I am very secure in my, that I have a job. 
first of all. And, then I, and then I don't feel, I mean, I don't feel at risk of losing my position in the company, which they, you know, they, you know, they're not planning on getting rid of me, I don't believe, which no. I think kind of helps that, um, no, feeling, but, uh, you know, where you, it gives you more of a breath where I don't, where you don't feel like you're always competing for something. And that was kind of the environment in my school and kind of in the company is that it's not a competition. It's, it's, we're all one unit doing a show together. So I think that certo. I think anyone could go either way. And I think that's just, I've been able to be a part of two different organizations that allowed me to be that way, which was nice. Quando viene a Los Angeles? O in I, Italia? I know, we will ha we'll have to hang out with Nico. Sì, co dobbiamo yeah. andare con Nicoletta Rezzani. Nicoletta. E yeah. ci deve fare i capelli. Yeah, I need one so bad. <laughs> Me too. It's just yeah. like, you know, someone ah. licked my hair, but I didn't know how to be presentable. <laughs> I know, <laughs> so hot here as well. Oh, it's my... molto caldo. Jack, okay, scusa. It was my phone. Okay, ti ho ribloccato. Sì. Io, yeah. io sono... sono And we'll have to meet in Piacenza. Sì, ma vieni veramente. Yeah. Oh, if, love se... Piacenza. Sì, Piacenza. O oh, ti portiamo a Castel San Giovanni. Castel San Giovanni yes. is where Nico, Nicoletta has Rezzani the, is. Uh, yeah, she has the salon, yes. the beauty salon. And uh, she can tell us where the osteria that the, I met her at was. Where the restaurant. Oh, the, oh, right, right, the restaurant yeah. you guys met. I, I'm yeah. going to ask her, le chiedo dove yeah. vi siete incontrati, in un ristorante che dicevi con delle scale, sì, with sì. stairs in Piacenza. Mm, yeah. Non so, ce ne sono diversi, ma chiederò a Nicoletta, ti mando un messaggio. Jack Furlong, grazie mille. Grazie ti ringrazio mille, veramente grazie. tanto del tuo tempo, grazie. Okay. Un bacio. Bye. Ciao, ciao, ciao Jack, ciao. Vi aspetto presto con un nuovo guest e una nuova storia. Join me. Baci e abbracci, sarà sì la la land. Na, 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 na.